Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss different ways of creating the observable. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the observable error and the completion callback methods. In this video, we will see how we can create the observable in the different ways. So let's go to the Visual Studio Code. And here we, in the previous video, what we have, we were using here, basically we were using the observable constructor. So through that constructor, we are creating the observable and then we are emitting all the observable value and then we are printing it here like the error callback method, completion callback method. So everything we are calling here. So this is the way like this is the observable constructor way to create the observable. So now let's comment it. Now what we will see another way of creating the observable is basically the using the create method. So here to do this one, let's take this dot data. So basically what we are doing, we are assigning in this variable only. So this dot data equal to observable dot create. So like basically you will see here what it is saying create a new observable by calling the observable constructor so inside it anyhow calling this constructor only so create now inside this one we have to call the callback method and then we have to give the argument so that i'm going to take give as in res only and then we have to give let's take the type of this now we have to call and inside this one we we can call all these methods just like we are calling it here so now let's take this way like this we can call just like the observable constructor we can call it like this now anyhow we are emitting this data in, inside the ng on init method like based on that we are calling this method and then we are subscribing so now let's save it and go on the browser so if we will go on the browser we will see like here it is printing one two three and the four it will print okay so one two three and four we can see it is printing now just like the constructor observable constructor we we can emit the error also so now if i will copy it and here now let's give it as a two three and the four just like the uh, like we can emit the error also just like the observable constructor and now save it and go on the browser so if you will come on the browser after the three what it will do it will give the error and we can see further value it is not printing and just like that we can even emit the complete method also so just like this we can emit the complete method so if you will go on the browser so first let's comment it and now let's save it again and go on the browser so if you will come on the browser at the last what it will do it will print the completing method and it is not printing the fourth value and the reason is because we are emitting this complete method in the third second and this four is basically on the fourth second so this is the way like i'm using the create method also we can create the object of the observable now next way we can create or call the observable is basically off method so now to do this one so let's understand it like what i will do i will create two array so array one and uh, let's give some value to this one five and here let's give it any so here we are taking the local variable so let's take const this is the one array another array i'm taking as in array two and let's give some value to this one like eight five nine and one so these two array i have taken now the next way of creating the observable is this dot data i'm going to assign and that is using the off and this off is basically exist inside the rx js so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the off here now inside this one what we have to do we, you can pass any value so this dot array one 
so array one comma array two so these value we can assign now if you will save and go on the browser so basically what you will see it is printing both the arrays as it is and we can see it is even giving the completion method so when we call the off method by default it automatically call the completion like implicitly but here in the create method in the constructor explicitly we have to call the complete method but in the case of the off we what we have to do we have like it automatically call the completion method and apart from that even we can pass other values also just like in this one so now if you will save and go on the browser you will see it is calling the um, like completion method by default and here you can see it is calling these array as it is means it is not iterating over these array whatever the structure of that array it is printing as it is and then it is printing five six and the dot net office so basically using the off if there is a situation like when we call the completion by default and like we have to call the multiple value then we can call this um, like a uh, basically observable using this off uh, method also so this is the way now another way of doing is basically from so this dot uh, data equal to from so this also sit inside the rxjs library only now inside this one let's give this dot array so array now let's save and go on the browser so if i will go on the browser and uh, like we can see in the case of the create it again call the completion method by default but here it is not printing that array as it is it is iterating over the array and then it is printing the data so that is the difference between the off and the from so basically in the off it give that array as it is but in the case of the uh, from it iterate the data and another thing like in the if we are using the from we have to pass uh, one value only now if here if i will give the five and if i will save and we can see it is giving the error and the, uh, the thing is it is not acceptable like this so in the case of the from we can pass only the one value at a time now another way instead of the array what if i will give any number or anything even it will not accept that like if we, i'm going to give here a dot net office and if i will save this and go on the browser like if, let's save it so what it is doing it is iterating the data you can see dot net office it is iterating so from is basically used to iterate the data so wherever you you are having any array or something what it will do it will iterate that data or like whatever the data is there it will iterate and it will print one by one so from is basically we can use it for the promises also because it is going to return the same data it emit the one value so we can convert this into the promise also so these are the way through that we can uh, call the observable one is the using the constructor another using the create method and off using the off method we can pass multiple value as we want and it print and another is the from so it iterate the data and then it print so this is the way of creating the observable in the angular so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you